So this is apart from the original machine at Glasgow, the Juice. Um, this is a Mercury delay line amplifier. In the olden days, it would have been attached to a long tube, maybe a four or five foot long, that would have contained liquid mercury. This thing here is centimeters inside, in size, and this was the memory for the computer, and that would have been encoded as um, audio pulses. The electrical impulses would come in on these um, terminals here, and then inside, the electronics convert the electrical impulses to sound waves, which then propagate through the mercury delay lines that would be attached here. That would be several feet long, and at the end there'd be a sort of a reflector to uh, reflect the, the, the waves back again. So this would probably maybe a thousand bits of memory, and they were put inside a big metallic fridge that was shaped like a mushroom, and um, the modern day equivalent would be a very small piece of silicon kind of, you know, nanometers across, which would be a, a transistorized component that would store a single, um, you know, word of, of memory. So this is the only part of the machine that we have left. 